this past week, I watched a documentary entitled, Won't You Be My Neighbor? A documentary about Fred Rogers, who founded the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood on public television. I grew up watching Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, and the documentary was a wonderful testament to his life because Mr. Roger, Fred Rogers in real life, was an ordained Presbyterian minister, and his mission was the root of today's gospel that we hear, to love your neighbor as yourself. And he set out to love his neighbor, and most of his neighbors were children, and he was dedicated to loving children, and he would look at you and think you were the most important person in the world through television, and teach us how to be kind to our neighbor. I cried throughout that at the end of that documentary because it was very touching. Because I also cried when I learned that this past week we also suffered one of the largest hate crimes against our Jewish sisters and brothers in the United States. There was in Pittsburgh, there was a synagogue massacre that killed 11 people. All because of hate. Today's gospel reminds us that love triumphs over hate. That the God of love, the God that we believe in, the God, the one God that our Jewish sisters and brothers believe in, this one God rooted in Abraham that our Muslim sisters and brothers believe in, is rooted in love. The gospel we hear, a scribe approaches Jesus, not to test him, but he seems like he's very sincere about wanting to learn more about how to live his life. And so he poses the question to Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus has two answers, not just one. He says, first, the greatest commandment is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one, and you shall love the Lord our God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And, he concludes, the second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is where all of the commandments sit. They're rooted in this keystone commandment to love. And the scribe agrees. Yes, that is true. That is right. And everything else flows from that. That the love of God and love of neighbor is the core principle of who we are in following and loving in the way, for us as Christians, in the way of Jesus towards this God of love. Jesus reminds us that love wins. Hate will not have the last word. Mr. Rogers reminds us to look and gaze with loving eyes and kindness towards our neighbor because that's who we are and that's who we are called to be. So this week, how do we love God with all of us, our whole heart and mind and soul, the whole person of God, of us? God wants us to love wholeheartedly. How do we love God with all of us, all of our being? How do we love ourselves, treat ourselves with love? And how do we act outwardly in loving our neighbor? What does our wholehearted love and our strength look like? How is that expressed outwardly to this world? This week, let us have the courage to live our lives as a witness to this God of love that says love will triumph over hate and hate will never have the last word because love always wins. How are our actions and love of our neighbor expressing that God of love? Let us have courage to live that in the simple way of how we love our neighbor, that outward expression of God's love. Amen.